guys, I cannot talk for the life of me today, but we're going to be trying to talk about workout plans, how I can help you guys make a workout plan and schedule, and what my current workout schedule is like and will be like for the next little while. Um, broken my throat. I get asked this all the time, and so I figured I would have a quick little tip video, sit down, help you guys out. Whether you're on a weight loss journey or a fitness journey, the same thing applies, so I'm going to give you guys my best tips. Please make sure if you guys like this video that you give it a thumbs up because it helps me know what I should be doing more of and what I should be like, eh, Amy, never do that again. They hate it. And also please subscribe because I have been doing three videos a week, which I'm super excited about because I was kind of slacking in 2016, but 2017, I'm like, boom. That was a little aggressive. I apologize. But okay. So my very first tip is do what works for you and your lifestyle. Do not take someone else's workout schedule and be like, they're doing that. They look bomb. They look hot. Let me do exactly what they're doing because everyone's lifestyle and needs are different and you might be at a different point in your journey to someone else. Tailor your workout schedule to the schedule that's best going to fit your life that you're not going to feel overwhelmed with and that you're going to stick to so you can actually start seeing results. You have to remember too that even at the beginning of your weight loss journey, going to the gym one to two times a week, if you've been going zero times in the past few years, hello, that was me when I first started my very first weight loss journey, it's way more than what you were doing. And what you can do is once you feel like, oh girl, this one to two weeks isn't doing anything anymore, like I need to ramp it up and get my ass in gear, you can add in and then you can start going three to four times a week and then you can build up. Because another tip is that the workout schedule is not like etched into stone. You can change it, it's okay, it's not like some manuscript, and it's not like the holy bible that cannot be changed. You can change it and adapt it to suit your needs, how your body's responding, and also your time. And also change can be good because switching things around here and there can also stop you from plateauing, which I know a lot of people suffer from. Number four is be realistic. Don't try to throw yourself in at the deep end. I say this in all of my videos. Zero to 360 is way too much. You're not gonna be able to keep up with that schedule you set for yourself, and you're gonna lose the motivation. You're gonna feel bad because you should be going to the gym six times a week if that's what you've said and you're not going. So make it realistic for your lifestyle. I also think that wherever you are in your fitness journey, everybody needs that mental break and everybody needs a rest day. Working out seven days a week is not realistic in my opinion at all. And also not only your mind needs that like day off to just do whatever the hell you want, enjoy yourself, have a cheat meal girl. You go have that cheat meal, but also your body needs the time to recover, to heal, to have that break. It can't just be like grinding into the ground. So in your workout schedule, at least allocate one rest day because you just need it. That's my rule. So yeah, those are really my tips. I'm going to talk to you guys about the schedule that I'm doing. So for the very first four weeks of my new weight loss journey, the one I started a month ago, I was doing four days a week at the gym. I was starting off on a Monday by doing my leg day routine because that is the hardest and the most strenuous workout. So I like to get it out of the way before my mind can tell me, girl, you're dreading leg day. I just like to get it out of the way. On Tuesday or the next day, what I have been doing is my back and bicep routine. It's my favorite. Again, it takes a while. So I like to get it done at the beginning of the week when I'm super motivated, but I love that workout. It's just my favorite. On Wednesday, I do my chest and triceps. I don't do a lot of chest work. I just had never have. I've never liked to. So that is a more light day. And so what I have started adding in on a Wednesday is also doing some glute work because I'm trying to build the peach. I want to have a squeezable round, like, you know, a booty. So I have added in glute exercises, specific leg exercises that target my glutes and my hamstrings to build that peach. It has been so effective so far, you guys. Oh my God, it's hard, but I love it. And then the last workout of the week is my shoulders and my abs. I do a little bit of abs every day, to be honest, but I do a few more on the last day along with my shoulders because defined shoulders are hot. So now that I am on the fifth week mark next week, what I will be doing is going to the gym five days the week so I'm adding in one more day and basically what I'll be doing is throwing in another complete leg workout day so everything else will be the same I don't like to work out legs back to back because again it's one of the biggest muscle groups so it does need to be worked out twice a week especially if you're trying to grow the butt and everything make your quads really defined it's a large muscle group so I add in another one midweek I at least have a day between my leg workouts if that makes sense okay so as for cardio when the hell do you fit that in no I don't go into the gym any more days of the week to do the cardio but I will be throwing my two to three cardio sessions a week in on the days that I don't train legs. I like to lift weights first because I feel like I need the most energy and the most stamina for that. I will go do my high intensity interval training right at the end of that workout for 20 minutes and that's how I'll be losing these LBs because 
I'm trying to loosen all these, 10 of them to be precise. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. So that's my workout schedule right now. Those are some tips on how you could split up your workout schedule. Remember, you can change it. It doesn't have to be my schedule or anyone else's schedule out there. So it's gonna be manageable for you to stick with it and for you to keep going and to keep up that routine because you need to keep up that schedule for a while in order to start seeing the results and I promise they will come. So I hope you guys love this video. Let me know if you found it helpful and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.